Hey everyone, it's the Urban Window Farmer. Today we're going to talk about lettuce and the vertical growth system. So I have a few varieties of lettuce. I harvest it almost every day. Um, but the one that I harvest the most is the uh, Romaine, Paris Island Romaine lettuce. And if you see here, uh, this is a an example of one of them that I have in the system. Uh, they grow very well, uh, they grow huge, and what I typically do is I harvest, I take off the outer uh, leaves of the, and then I just um, usually add it to a salad, or sometimes I make lettuce wraps uh, with these because the leaves are so large. Uh, they're very good for making lettuce wraps. If you look here, uh, and I have a few a few varieties of this um, Paris Island Romaine. Uh, so here's one, um, and I have another one here as well. What I typically do is I'll harvest one, and I'll let that one rest for a day or two, then I'll harvest uh, another one, because I have, I think I have in this tower, I have four different four different uh, plants of this uh, Paris Island Romaine. So that's one variety of lettuce. Um, I also have this uh, red velvet right here, if you can see up here. Uh, this one I've only had it in the tower for about two weeks. I've already started to harvest some of the baby leaves on the outside. Um, and it's starting to get pretty bushy, but I only have one one of these plants in this in the tower, so I typically only harvest this like once, once or twice a week. That's another variety right here. It's red velvet lettuce. Okay, I also have um, black seeded. Um, Simpson lettuce and that is uh, the one right here and this one gets it's huge uh, if you look at the stem there it's it's very big uh, and this one I haven't been able to harvest it fast enough because it grows so quickly um, in the in the in the garden um, but yeah so I typically just when I harvest it, I take off um, several of the leaves, and um, they tend to grow back very, very quickly. Uh, I have a, a couple of these in the tower as well. So this is one right here. It's it's huge. I have another one right here. So it's also a monster, um, and I have a couple more in the back. What I tend to do with the lettuce is I. Um, this side of the tower is the eastern, I'm uh, sorry, it's the uh, western uh, side of the tower. And the western side is, is actually blocked off by our house. So it doesn't get, it gets light, but it doesn't get as much light as the eastern portion. So what I typically do is put the more flowering plants on the, on the back side of the tower. And um, the lettuce doesn't like too much light, so it likes to be kind of in the front. Okay, so the next variety that I do have um, is, uh, well this is actually not a lettuce, but I have this uh, mustard, a green mustard plant. This one just started and it just it seemed like it was kind of uh, growing a little bit slow at first and then it just started to take off, so I'm excited to have um, this uh, mustard in here as well because it has a very spicy um, spicy, t spicy taste to it, much different than other varieties. I'm not even sure if this is a, a lettuce family, but um, yes, happy to have it. And then I also want to talk about the arugula. Uh, this is arugula right here. Uh, and the arugula is getting shaded by this basil. So I'm going to have to get this, this basil plant is huge and I'm going to have to start topping it off pretty soon. 
uh, so that this arugula will have a little bit more room to grow but it is it is growing in here um, and I typically only take a, a couple of the leaves off of this one because it it is being shaded a little bit by the by the purple basil here all right so yeah today I just wanted to give you guys an update on on some of the lettuce varieties that I have in the tower um, I tend to harvest the lettuce the most out of any other thing that I have in the tower. Um, I would say lettuce would be number one and then number two would be this uh, bok choy. I harvest that a, a whole bunch as well. But I'll be giving you guys more updates on this um, vertical grow tower. I'll try to give an update either weekly or bi-weekly talking about different topics on the tower system. And if you do like this kind of content, please do me a favor and hit this subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.